Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, January 17th. Now, keep in mind that this may resonate in a few days, or next week, or today, or yesterday, or whatever. So, we're going to get one of these, then we're going to break into this deck and just see what comes up. So, this is the energy I'm picking up on today. It may or may not be for you. You know, it is what it is. This this right here is just an overall energy. So, and then, so... We're going to get one of these. The star. Wish fulfillment. Now this is heaven. Heaven sent. Peace. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of healing. This is a blessing. So, beautiful. Renewal. Renewal. Peace of mind. Somebody is feeling at peace. Beautiful. Very comfortable, at ease. Oh, the thinking woman. Well, of course, number 47. Oh, the thinking woman. Thinking, thinking about the next chapter, thinking about the end of this story. Where am I going next? Thinking about where, where she's going next. Thinking about her independence, thinking about her future. thinking about her next chapter. These cards don't are not reversed. Self-love. Now we have two 11s. Okay? 11, 11. 11, 11. This is 11, this is an 11. 11, 11. Your thoughts become things. Instant manifestation. Somebody is um, going through some sort of spiritual awakening with 1111. A wake up call about who they are. Yeah, it's a spiritual renewal here. Spiritual re renewal. This is self healing on my own. This is, and ones are about independence, okay? But, okay, we're going to get the last card. Now, I said ones are about independence, right? But 11-11, and I'm sure a bunch of you already jumped at that, right? You were, like, right on top of it. But 11-11, right? Right, well, hold up, okay? Hold up. 11-11, that's partner. That equals twos, okay? One plus one equals two, so it equals a partnership. So we're going from independence to partnership. Soulmate connection. Meant to be. After being stuck in conflict, perhaps afraid to step outside of your comfort zone, afraid to, you know, remove that bubble, you know, afraid to go down that new path. Somebody has been protecting. This is a card of protection as well. Somebody has been protecting themselves from this soulmate. Because they weren't quite sure. They weren't quite sure what they were doing, where they were going, what they wanted. They needed to heal from something. Seriously. These are both healings, heart healings. So now we have these two people 
that have probably, or they're going to run into each other. They do have a connection with each other. Or they've been, you know, uh, calling to each other. You know, it's what's that calling in your soulmate. Right? This is heaven, like I said, listening. This is like heaven listening. It's a blessing. It's like heaven is bringing two people together that have been... Both of these people have been healing. Both of these people have been thinking about where they want to go, what they want to do, what they have to offer, what's the next chapter hold, um, everything. They're, they're on the same wavelength, put it that way. These two people are on the same wavelength, all right? But, and both of these people right in the middle have been conflicted about change, you know? About which way to go, which way to go. Do I want to be alone or do ones? It's funny, every word that comes out of my mouth is for this reading. It could be, do I want to be independent or do I want to be in a partnership? And that's what both of these people are thinking about. Can't wait to see what the rest of the cards have to say. Got to choose one or the other. Do you want a relationship or not? Because right now, the time is now with an eight. You have to choose. You have to make a choice. You can't wait forever. You got to choose. Do you want to be independent or do you want to move forward? Go ahead. Go ahead. Door to spirit. Divinely guided. It's the truth. Somebody is being divinely guided to open another book. Angel of strength, courage. So it looks as though somebody is going to receive some sort of blessing in in um, in regards to a new partnership, a divine connection. Uh, after after taking some time to heal. Um, after protecting themselves from getting involved, this person or these two people are going to be brought together um, from above. Okay, this is definitely divinely guided, absolutely, with these angels in spirit. Okay, door to spirit, angel of balance, angel of strength. Somebody is being divinely guided to just go ahead. Go ahead. I'm serious. Just go ahead. There's an opportunity to be really happy. And four is an angel number. And see, the, and rainbows are peace. This is peace as well. So it's like it's a time of, of uh, coming together for these two people that... will bring peace. It will bring peace to both of their lives. These people um, that are coming together have just closed some door. Maybe not just, but the door has, because nines are closed, or have just closed the door, and their heart is, is just about healed. They've done a lot of inner work. They've done a lot of self-healing, and they've really worked on um, recovery, you know, recovery. And now they found their balance. They found their strength and spirit is bringing these two people together. And, and I, I really have to tell you that go ahead is a really big deal here. Go ahead. Cause I keep hearing it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Follow your heart, follow your heart.
this is what you've this is what you've prayed for this is what you've dreamed of this is this is what you want I feel like spirit, definitely, definitely spirit has brought two people together that have manifested each other. And now, and now you just, right now, you have to make the decision to find the strength and the courage to allow yourself to change, okay? To accept change. Again, it's funny how the cards land out. Remember last time I used this deck? Five, five, five. Five, five, five. It's a time of major life changes, major life choices, and dealing with the conflict that has kept you stuck. It's time. It's time for you to love yourself and to let somebody love you too. I feel as though there is a woman that is waiting for a man. She's at, she's at the front and she's like, she's looking, she's like waiting. She's like waiting. Okay. She's waiting to be told what, where do I go next? What do I do next? She's waiting. She's waiting. And, but she's, she's fine. She's doing good. She's like doing her own thing. She's doing great. She's been waiting for him to come rescue her. While she's been waiting, she's been healing. He's been healing too. They're mirroring each other. Both of these people have been healing from a broken heart. Both of them. And they're both undecided and a little uncomfortable with coming together. They both are. But it's meant to be. It's a, it's a meant to be. It really is. So I feel like spirit is bringing these two people together because you imbalance. It takes two to balance out the scales. This is a pairing that is meant to be. And it's going to lead to a lot of happiness. This is, this man is going to help, or and this woman, both of these people are going to help to heal that broken heart the rest of the way. This is a card of healing, and this is the broken heart. It, it is. It's the truth. This, this is going to seal the seal up the rest of that pain. It's just going to close it right up. So I feel as though somebody is about to... What's that song? It's like Heaven by Brian Adams. This is heaven. It's heaven. It's heaven sent as well. We have a heaven sent union that is coming about after somebody has been indecisive. They've been independent. And now there's an opportunity to come together with their perfect match. Okay. And build a family. It's a major change with these fives. It is. It's a major change. Let's get some more cards. What else do we got? What else do we got here? Pain. Oh. Somebody, yeah, letting go. Close. Remember I said closure? Somebody is letting go of the, the anxiety, letting go of the fears. Afraid, afraid to uh, get themselves involved in something that is emotionally invested, but it's just like you know what I w I want this back. I want I want it back. I want it. There's that healing, healing of the broken heart. The broken heart has kept this person stuck and tied up and in fear of letting, opening their heart. But now they're releasing it. Thank God. 
Somebody's heart was severely damaged and they needed time to heal. Now I feel like she's ready. She's ready. She's ready to close that book and, and, and open another one. And he's ready too. So we have two people that are coming to coming together. And you know, this could even, you know, I hate to say this. I absolutely positively do. But this could be somebody coming back. It could be. Coming back to their family. Coming back to, you know, they want their family back. I hate to say those words. But that could be the case somebody could be be coming back because they can't they just can't let it go yeah yeah they can't let it go they're coming back somebody may be coming back okay somebody may be coming back they want to go back they want to go back for some reason I don't know why Anyhow, somebody is wanting to go back and they may be coming back after they have really broken somebody's heart. Maybe they have found the strength and the courage and they, they just need that go ahead to go ahead and do it. This person is thinking about it. <laughs> but this can go another way too. We have somebody here, we have somebody has been cheated and that's why they... they they are stuck. That's why they have this fear, you know. They have this fear of getting in a, in a relationship because they've been cheated. You know, they have this fear of getting hurt again. Anyway, this could go on and on and on. Oh, somebody's from the past. So I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody from the past may be coming back, okay? They may have really broken your heart in the past. Maybe they cheated on you. Uh, maybe they deceived you, whatever. Looks as though somebody from, I mean, I hate to, I hate to, I hate to say this, but uh, somebody from the past may be, may be deciding to, you know, step outside of their comfort zone and um, find the strength and their courage to swallow their pride and go after, follow their heart, <laughs> okay? So I don't know who this is, but it looks as though there's hope. I mean, this is the card of hope. There is hope. There is hope. There's hope for renewal. <laughs> With somebody from your past. I don't know who this is. And I don't know who this is for. Spirit is guiding these two people together. Put it that way. They are. Somebody may need to find the strength to not go back to the past. Just saying. I mean, whatever you got to do, you got to do. But definitely there's, 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 the past is here. Okay, memories of the past are coming up. Memories, memories, uh, past love, whatever. Somebody may be coming in to balance out the situation after they broke your heart. You're just about healed. You're just about moved on. You're just about to close that book and here they are. Maybe that's what you've been wishing for. Maybe they want to call a truce. Yeah, they want their family back. Somebody wants their family back. They do. They want their stability and their security back. They want their... They do. They do. So I feel like somebody is going to communicate that, you know, they want somebody back. They want somebody back. Um, they're going to find... They're going to find that courage and the strength and the confidence to just go ahead and do it. I don't know who this reading is for. I'm going to do another one. <laughs> Just because. This isn't my story, so I'd like to know. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I won't do another one. 
Um, we have two people that are meant to be. It's the truth. We have two people that this is a soulmate. These are meant to be. It's a divine partnership. With somebody that you have known before, put it that way. This could be even a past life relationship. For So for those of you who are like, oh my God, no, I don't want somebody from my past. Well, this could be somebody from a past life. It could be. This Remember, we talked about this the other day. Somebody from your past doesn't have to be the one that stabbed you that bad, okay? Could be somebody else. There's many people that we have in our past, many So there is somebody that you have known before, there's no joke, that wants to come back. These people have been divinely guided to come back, even if they don't know each other yet. They've been divinely guided to come together. There's no doubt somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back. A divine partnership is coming back together. Brother, this is a past relationship you had 11 months ago, or 11 years ago, or in a past life, or whatever. Maybe 17 years ago. I don't know. Whatever this is. Two people are coming back together that are absolutely positively meant to be. That is it. That is what's going on here. And they're going to build a relationship. They're going to build a family. Whether they're old or young, a family that together they can build. Two people can be a family. Because the other family is the extended family. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Somebody's coming back. Somebody is coming back together that is meant to be. So it is what it is. this reading is actually pretty much for everybody. Right? Somebody's making a choice. To let go of their fears and follow their heart. And that's what this is. Good luck. I hope it's you. The only thing is, is you gotta let go of your fears, right? All fears do is hinder you. There's always hope. So just go for it. The time is now. <laughs>